Hey guys, it's Alexander Williamson here with the secret history of living inside your aquarium. Today, oh, it is freaking hot. So pardon the sweat that I have today, but it is hot in here in the fish room. And uh, just to kind of prove it, let me use my little heat gun thing here. And it looks like we're showing 94 degrees uh, cool in this room. Now, the fish tanks, they've got enough aeration that they're doing okay. But, as I've been sitting here and I've been forced to drink water instead of my standby Dr. Pepper. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm still having the Dr. Pepper. But the question uh, arose, do fish drink water? I mean, do they drink anything? Uh, I mean, obviously, it would be water if they're drinking something, right? And then that led me to think... Do fish pee? You know, I've, I've gone fishing, I've picked up fish, I've seen them use the restroom, and I, I think they do, but that made me do some research. And so in this short video today, we're going to go over the basics of fish. Do they drink water? Do they pee? And the answer is kind of, maybe, it depends on the fish. So the interesting thing about fish and them drinking water uh, is that not all fish do and basically the fish that chug water like there is no tomorrow that absorb it through their gills and that absorb it through their mouth and their intestinal tract that is saltwater fish which may surprise you right because that salt water would kill most organisms same with fish it's not like they have magical blood that is uh able to drink salt all day it actually in 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 uh, saltwater fish, that water outside in the ocean is more salty than their, the salinity of their body. Just like when you, t when you taste your tears or your sweat, it's salty. Well, fish have the same thing going on inside. All organisms have some degree of sodium going on in there because it helps uh, both potassium and sodium and uh, chlorine, sodium chloride ion uh, and potassium channels are how cells talk and how they send electrical signals. So we need that stuff. It's really important to everything from little teeny shrimp all the way up to an elephant. But we need to talk about a basic principle before we get into the, uh, the easy answer to this question, which is uh, balance. So this goes down to osmosis. You guys may remember osmosis is when water is on two sides of a barrier and water wants to be at equilibrium. If there's this much water, you know, this much in a column here and this much here and there's a barrier that allows water to go back and forth, of course, what's the water going to do? This is going to come down, this is going to go up and they're going to even out. Well, salinity is very similar in water and it acts the same exact way. So if you are salty, if you are just, if you've been eating salty food all day, water that is non-salty that you're drinking is going to want to go into your body and pull that salty water that has adjusted in your body. And that's why you can swell up because basically the salty water wants to go into those organs where you've been packing it. And for humans, uh, kidneys, uh, bladder, pancreas, those are kind of the places where we deal with that. And for a gallbladder too, sure, and stomach as well. We're gonna be thorough, okay? Uh, but for fish, we're just gonna talk about the kidneys basically. Kidneys and a little bit of liver and the gills. So when you have a saltwater fish, their salinity is higher than the ocean at large around them. So that water is actually, instead of, instead of wanting to equalize into them, it's, it's, they're not salty enough. So they, they actually, the salt goes in, which sucks water out on the way. And so that causes them to be constantly being dehydrated. And because of this, they drink water all day long. They drink it, they absorb it through their gills, through osmosis. And as we were talking about, osmosis in animals is done through cell membranes. Now plants also do this vascularly through cell walls. And if you remember Biology 101, cell walls are kind of an impregnable cell and water doesn't go back and forth, not much does. Um, 
unless there is an opening. And then they'll have an opening that allows osmotic pressure or osmotic regulation. So salts and fluids can go back and forth and they can regulate that with signals. Well, in animal cells and in fish, they have cell membranes, just like even a single cell organism. And this means that water comes and goes in and out of those cells as it pleases, basically, because most of these cell membranes allow for that unless they have a lipid biwall layer, but it's not really a cell wall. That gets into deeper uh, biology, so we're gonna leave it at that. Just pretend that it's like a water balloon, each cell, and that if it has salt in it and there's no salt out here, then the water's gonna wanna come in and desalinate all that water in the balloon and if it, the salt can't get out through that cell wall, what's gonna happen? It wants to be equal. So it will swell that balloon wall like we were talking about and it will swell the cells. And that's why you get swelling when you have a bunch of salt in your diet, uh, amongst other things. But basically, if the salt can come and go through channels in the fish's uh, cellular matrix in their gills and so forth, then they can release that pressure. Now, freshwater fish actually have a really easy time. Freshwater fish do not drink water. There it is, there's the answer at the, at the what are we at? Six minute mark, six and a half minutes. So fresh fish, freshwater fish don't need water uh, or don't drink water. They just absorb it all day long through their skin, through their cells. That's also how they uh, absorb oxygen and through their gills. They have these special chloride cells and they can regulate that salt. But basically, because of their diet, because of what they eat, because spirulina, seaweed, all sorts of freshwater seaweed, that is plankton, a lot of these things are salty. And so they store it, same with blood, sweat, things that are in animals that they're eating, fish, other little fish, you know, frogs, invertebrates, whatever it is that the fish are eating, uh, it's in there. And so they have salt within them, just like we do, just like my sweat, Ugh, it's so hot uh, and just like in my body so they just have to swim around and they've evolved so they just absorb it and do they pee not much so they let a little bit of urea out through their uh, they have a little a little uh, hole near their anus and it is just a little pore and all day long it just kind of trickles out now a lot of their food also gets digested and becomes, it can, it can be hard, it can be soft, it can be murky, muddy, you know, whatever, just kind of like human excrement. But sometimes that will mix with the urea and the water. But really what that is, is it becomes pure ammonia. And that's why freshwater fish, when they're going to the bathroom, it's not desalinated in their body. It comes out very intense. Now, Per the whole tank, it may not be that intense, but this is why we do water changes amongst other things is the ammonia. Now for, for saltwater fish, as I was saying, their bodies are actually not as salty as the ocean. So, um, you know, that's why when you eat into a piece of tuna, it doesn't taste like, uh, you know, it's been salted already. So this is when water from the outside can exchange back and forth, they don't want that to happen because they would swell up and burst, honestly. So what they do is they have these uh, same, same cells but evolve differently in their gills as well as in their, uh, in their mouth here and farther back in their mouth and on pores on their body and they have to absorb the free H2O cells if they can. Then in their cells here, they have organs or little lymph nodes basically. Little nodes, we'll call them that, glands. They're not lymph nodes, I'm sorry. Uh, but they will break apart that salt and that salt will then get uh, put back into their kidneys. It will get diffused through the body where it's needed. Any excess literally just sloughs off and floats out into the water or it follows down their lateral line through a series of vesicles and just goes back out into the water. So uh, basically, if you're in the ocean, the fish are peeing all the time and it's really dilute, but they're peeing all the time because 
they need to keep themselves not as salty as the ocean and they don't want to blow up like a balloon whereas so that means they drink by the way and we're gonna wrap it up here at 10 minutes pretty easy right guys so there is the history of do fish pee do fish drink water well freshwater fish they don't need to drink water it's in their food it's absorbed through their body uh saltwater fish they drink water constantly through their gills, through their skin, through their mouth, and through what they eat. And then they pee all day long. And so uh, that is the gist of it. So if you guys like these shorter videos, if you like this content, let me know. And uh, I'll try to aim for more of that. Also, if you want to check me out on other platforms such as Patreon where there's extra content, there's new Teespring shirts, merchandise, illustration. None of it's branded with secret history living in your aquarium. I wanted it to just be chill so you guys could say, I like Corydoras, and there's a Corydora illustration front and back, all made in the U.S. sustainably um, and fair trade uh, for the clothing base. So I hope you guys check that out, like it. If you really like the channel, support it on Patreon. If nothing else, like the video give it a thumbs up or a share if you want. And if uh, it didn't float your boat, don't do any of that. Uh, give it a thumbs down, say boo hiss. All right guys, I will talk to you later. Take care of your critters, the people around you, your fish, your tanks, and of course yourself, because if you don't do that, you can't do the rest. And I think if half of us did half of that, half the time we would live in a world that is twice as good. So I will talk to you later. And uh, try not to get too uh, upset when you think about uh, the fact that, you know, some fish don't really ever have to pee. They make awesome road trip companions. Freshwater fish, road trip companion, next summer, I'm calling it. Bye, guys.